Dear Diary, so, we're all in isolation. I'm in my home office, nothing unusual for me here. No, I'm not traveling. And then I was sitting there as I did my commute down the stairs, past the kids, into the office thinking, well, if we've got isolation on and everyone is working from home, that means all the virus writers and all those bad people will be working from home. That means they'll be nicer, there'll be less of those bad things going on. So I thought, no, I'll have a look. So I had a look and believe it or not, it's worse. 88% are zero day viruses we're seeing at the moment, or malware. 12% are known malware, which just made me sit there and go, ah, that's fine, because everyone's going to be behind their corporate file. No, they're all working from home, aren't they? They're all sat there on laptops. They're all got VPN connectivity. Now, some of you sit there and go, I'm fine. I've set it up with false tunneling. That means that everything goes back to the corporate network. That means I see everything. They're protected with all the toys. And there's some of you going, false tunneling. What's that? False VPNs? No, no, I don't know what you're talking about. So here's the thing. What are they protected by? Mm, the BT Home Hub. Yes, that's real secure, isn't it? Uh, so we have users that are now working from home. They're sitting there uh, open to the internet, be able to access things like Facebook and all the shopping stuff that we normally wouldn't let them do because they're meant to be working. We're trusting them to all work from home because at this moment in time, we've got no option, but we've got no protecting them. Ah, oh, hold on a minute. It's all right. We gave them a laptop. We put antivirus on there. They're protected. What about those that actually sent people out and have to work on their own personal laptops? The ones that quickly went to PC World and bought anything they could find just so they could have protection. Yeah, there's a problem there. So look, below I've put some links to some bits that might be interesting to you. One is the link from our, you know, our threat landscape showing you what I saw. Another one is for TDR. TDR is all about how you can still have protection. It doesn't matter what antivirus they have, but then reporting back and protecting them with the same sort of security you would have if you were behind the network, plus protecting them against ransomware. And then also then we have DNS Watch Go, the ability to stop not just about what websites they go to. I don't care where they go. It's more about the phishing because we know phishing is rife. My goodness, the amount of things I'm seeing about the coronavirus and click on this link here, click on that link there. You know, so we need to be able to protect those people when they're outside the network. But no dear diary would be complete with that if I didn't do something about don't forget about the Wi-Fi. So please sign the petition because that means a lot to me because I want safer Wi-Fi. Anyway, guys, while you're out there, stay safe. I look forward to seeing you on the other side. And who knows, I might do another video if you like it enough. All right, take care. Bye-bye.